DVD era TV back at y'all with another one live from the dirty section of YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Biggie Smalls' involvement with street legend and Brooklyn stick up kids, Death Killer Ben. Now let's get into it. Now, Killer Ben is a stick up kid from Fort Greene Projects in Brooklyn, and he's known to be from Myrtle Ave. He's also known for his affiliation with the paid and full posse, along with people like Rap, The Real 50 Cent, Rakim, and Eric B, just to name a few. Rakim even mentions his name on a song called What's On Your Mind. He says the next stop was mine, a familiar scene. I was meeting with my friend Killer Ben in Fort Greene. Now, in 1988, it was a situation where Killer Ben was being shot at, and supposedly, he shielded himself with a four-year-old boy. Now, that four-year-old boy ended up getting shot in his head and ended up in a coma. And, you know, the four-year-old boy would eventually come out of the coma and survive his injuries. And two years later, in 1990, he was sentenced to six and a half years in jail for assaulting a police officer in the shooting. While he was incarcerated, his door would be shot up and his three-year-old brother, Ben Williams, was sleeping on a pullout couch at the time, ended up getting killed. The attended target was his other brother who just came home from jail, Mr. Now, some people say that could have been Killer Ben's karma with his little brother being killed while he was in jail. For him, shielded himself when he was being shot at with the four-year-old boy. But I ain't gonna front as a lot of kids that were killed surrounding the whole Killer Ben situation. Now, not too long after Killer Ben was released from jail, he ended up at the Source Awards. This was 1995 Source Awards to be exact. The infamous Source Awards where Suge was on stage, this and Diddy, like, if you don't want your CEO dancing all in your videos, come to death row. Y'all know the Source Awards I'm talking about. Now, at this Source Awards, Killer Ben supposedly robbed Biggie Homeboy for a Rolex watch in a chain. Now, this friend of Biggie who was robbed by Killer Ben is from Prospect Plaza in Brownsville, and supposedly he is a friend also of Little Fame from MOP. Now, this hip-hop cop supposedly investigates the situation, and after investigating, he comes with the conclusion that Biggie Smalls put money on Killer Ben head for robbing his friend. Now, Killer Ben's on Myrtle Avenue in Brooklyn, and he gets a page to his beeper. He goes to the phone booth to return the call, and that's when he was killed in 1995. Now, after Killer Ben was murdered, this started an all-out turf war. And, you know, they would go back and forth with revenge for um, Killer Ben's death. Now, one of the revenge shootings for Killer Ben's death happened in Prospect Plaza, and Brownsville. Two guys hopped out of their car, ran down, and shot the park up. They didn't get the person that they supposedly thought killed Killer Ben, but they accidentally hit a four-year-old girl and some teenage kids. Now, one of the alleged suspects who killed the four-year-old girl name was Terrence Morgan, and they said one of the suspects that shot the park up shot himself in the leg and limped off of the scene. And that person was Terrence Morgan. Now, Terrence Morgan later go check himself in the hospital where he was arrested for the murder. Now, about a week or so later, another guy was arrested for the murder. The other suspect that was arrested for the murder name is Sonny Moses. And he was on the Queen's Flip Flip the Script podcast explaining his side of the story. He says he went to trial for it and he lost. Even though the witnesses couldn't point him out to be on the scene, and even though they thought the other suspect was light-skinned and he's dark-skinned, he still was convicted of the murder. Now, the other guy, Terrence Morgan, he actually beat his case in trial and later on admitted to the murder and said he did it. And he couldn't retrial it because it's double jeopardy and you can't do that. Now, Moses will eventually end up getting out of jail for that murder of the four-year-old girl. I believe her name was Shimon Johnson. And, you know, the detectives that booked them, they found out was doing a lot of corrupt stuff at the time. And he eventually came home. Now, even though Biggie was supposedly the person who put money on Killer Ben head, it never was proven that he actually did it. 
And some people even believe that it just was a turf war between Prospect Plaza and Fort Greene. Now, the reason that Killer Ben probably even robbed homie who was friends with Biggie for his watch and Rolex is because he's seen them and they are already beefing Prospect Plaza and Fort Greene, if that makes sense. Now, this was a little story I wanted to share because I feel like when it comes to street legends that's always mentioned, Killer Ben is one of the people that's left out of, you know, the New York street legend history. And um, it's very sad that all these kids died involving Killer Ben. And, you know, um, it's just something I wanted to touch on. Tell me how y'all feel about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We got more content coming. One.